Welcome to Bitboy Crypto. My name is Ben. Today, we're going to debut our new tracker for showing our portfolios, and I reallocated a ton of stuff. You guys are going to take a look at it here in just a little bit. Um, okay, so we are now using CoinGecko to track our portfolios. We think it's a much, much, much better thing. I think we had a total of, let's see, we had 5, 10, that's 15, 16, plus 25. We had $41,000 total when we went into these portfolios. Right now, we're saying at 40424 This has been a bear market. It's been sideways. It makes sense. Um, remember, we got a lot of these coins before the FTX collapsed. It bounced back, but we just got back to where we were. I told you guys when we started these portfolios that they it wasn't the, the optimum time for us to add to the portfolios, but I wanted to do it to show you guys what it would look like. So we're going to start with the 1K portfolio. I did not make any changes at all to the 1K portfolio. So in the 1K portfolio, we have ETH, XRP, ADA, ICP, Polygon, Algorand, and Sandbox. You see the amounts. Um, you see, like, we're up 80 bucks on XRP. Everything else, we're either down a little bit um, or whatever. So, right now, this is a portfolio we're down the most on. Um, we're down 14.57%. I told you guys this $1,000 portfolio is going to be the hardest one. Now we get to the 10K portfolio. 10K portfolio, not down nearly as much, only down 12%. Down, um, It's showing down $1,300, but that's not actually accurate. We put 10,000 in here in the beginning. Um, not sure why it's showing that profit loss, probably because the price went up when we moved everything over, we moved everything over to this portfolio It was probably seeing it, uh, you know, $10,600 and now it, it dropped. But when the numbers are getting big, it's not going to be that big of a difference, but going forward, we like the way that this tracks better. So to take a portfolio, portfolio, I didn't do anything to it either. You guys can see what we have here. I got a mixture of layer twos. We got your layer ones. We've got quant in here. Um, we have XRP in here. And there you go. You can look at how each one of those are doing. 25K portfolio. This is one I've totally changed. I went down to 10 coins on this portfolio. 10 coins. That's all that we did. You can see we're only we're actually up since I since we did this reallocation. We're up 1.32%, but overall we're still down. Uh, so I don't know what that is. Somebody can do that math. <laughs> but the point is this. I think we're down probably about 2%. That's what I think it is. I reallocated. What I did, I got coins that I think are going to do really well. I got ton coin. I got chain link. Um, I got AGIX, AI coin. I'm trying to get the next big winners. The only coins that you guys are used to seeing in our portfolios here are like Optimism, XRP, Quant, um, Chainlink, HBAR. All these other ones, um, you know, we basically put in Dogecoin. Why did I put Dogecoin in? I put Dogecoin in because I think it's going to be integrated into X. Toncoin. This is one to watch, guys. It's in the top 20 right now. And the chart, in my opinion, looks really freaking good. AGIX. Why do we want it? Well, we like AGIX because this is going to be the top AI coin for the foreseeable future. Really love it. Uh, you look at HBAR. You say, why? It's because, well, we wanted to add a layer one and we we asked the community, you know, do you guys, what, which one do you feel like would be the best? And it got narrowed down to HBAR and Cardano and they actually chose HBAR. So that's why we did let the community choose that one pick. Conflux, Chinese project. I wanted representation in the Chinese market. That's what I wanted. Optimism. Guys, I love Polygon. Optimism may have a little more upside than Polygon because of where it's at with big investors and also where it is in the layer two hierarchy and, and with big money behind it. It's got further to go to catch up to Polygon. I think Optimism is going to give Polygon a run for the money before the end of the bull run. I think Polygon still wins. But if I'm in a race and I'm in first place and somebody's in 42nd place and they almost beat me, they covered a lot more ground than I did in that last part of the race. I was way ahead, and they, they almost caught up. I still won, but they made up a lot of ground, and I think that's what we're going to see. Quant. I love Quant. I think Quant is going to be one of the next big big projects in this next bull run. I think this is going to end up being a top 10 to 15 coin. Um, a lot of upside here. XRP. I don't even really need to explain XRP. You guys know if you watch the channel. Um, so there you go. Uh, Arweave. Storage coins. I like what Arweave is doing. Render... 
So Coins almost made the list. Cardano, obviously. And these the, the strategy here is every time we're up $2,500 total in the portfolio. So not this number, not the number over here, but this number. When we hit $27,500, we're going to take profits from the gainers and roll them into another coin. So over time, we're going to expand this portfolio. But we just had too many coins with too small amounts. Once this portfolio hits $50,000, then we're going to move the minimum to $5,000 to add new coins. And we're going to see how this works. It's an interesting strategy. So uh, Render, one that almost went in. ICP almost went in. Algorand almost went in. These are coins, uh, Casper, Caspa. These are coins that are sitting on the sidelines in this portfolio that when we start adding, those are probably some based on what they're doing at that moment that we'll add. Now, this one's interesting. This is the only one we're actually up on. We're up 500 bucks on this. Once again, we had Cardano, we had Algorand, and we had HBAR in this portfolio. I now believe that these four coins, XOM, Quant, XRP, and XDC Network, I believe these are the four best candidates for ISO 20022. Now, if you want to look into that, you can check out a video. Maybe we'll pop one, a link up above to one of my videos on ISO 20022. But the point is, I don't think the other ones are probably going to be as used in payments as these ones are. Uh, and for that reason, we narrowed it down to four. And it's the only one we're up in. This is one I really got my eye on. Um, I think this is going to be a killer portfolio. I, I think this portfolio will outperform number-wise every one of these. That's my opinion. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Um, if you click this, this shows the breakdowns. So next time, we're going to get into a little bit more of showing these breakdowns and charts. Uh, so you can look forward to that. Uh, I'll be back Friday next week to do a portfolio video. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.